That's my decision. We're floating, floating out to oblivion. We go flow along with me. Welcome back to another video, everybody. Yes, welcome, welcome back. As you guys probably read by the title today is the day yes lord <laughs> oh. so we decided wow. to get induced um today is june 23rd it is our due date mm -hmm. and um long story short two weeks ago i went to my doctor's appointment june 9th i was at a 3.5 um, centimeters dilated and then i had my last appointment on the 19th I believe mm -hmm. and I was at a four with 80 to 90 percent effaced and she's just not coming out and we've been waiting already for so long we thought she'd be here on her own yeah. not the case Stay so <laughs> so we're just like we can't wait anymore we're just gonna go ahead and get induced um even though you know babies come late and all of that but we're just so excited we've yeah. been just patiently waiting can't wait to see you yeah, we just can't wait for her to be here with us. So, we are going in. We got the call. So, we're on our way to the hospital. So, this is our official labor and delivery. Official, official. So, we'll catch y'all at our next stop. Buddy, yeah, baby. What's that? I guess maybe I don't want to do one. <laughs> I married as long as it's not over 100, doesn't matter. <laughs> What's up, guys? So, just got roomed. Su casa de casa, de mi casa. <laughs> Whatever that means. Or mi casa de su casa. So, this is our home for whenever she decides to come up. We're ready. Just gonna chill. The nurse is gonna come in here shortly. And then, let's see what they say. Yeah. It's 10, 12 a.m. approximately. Uh-huh, yeah. She coming. She coming.
was just administered with Pitocin. Um, so she started that about two minutes ago. So that is supposed to start my contractions. Apparently I've been having contractions. I just haven't been feeling them. Um, so on that monitor, those little hills on the bottom are like when the contractions happen, I guess. Mm -hmm. So yeah, we'll see what happens. I haven't had any contractions that I felt yet. So we'll see if this will get this whole thing started. Baby's heartbeat is good. It's in the 140s, 150s. She's jumping around. <laughs> yeah. So we'll just see how this all progresses and how it all goes. Me and my jello. That looks like snot. <laughs> I got that on camera too. Oh, snotty ass jello. Little snotty ass jello. <laughs> Delicious. Jello. Hospital food. Yeah, I'm on a liquid diet only. Yep. That's what I'm eating. I like yep. Jello, but this Jello is not that great. So we'll catch y'all once that major happens. Yeah. So we'll see y'all later. or the baby kind of wiggles and moves, some fluid will, you'll feel fluid kind of come out. Okay. And then if it, oh, this bed is not um, And then if it seems like, you know, you're getting really wet, then I'll change out your towel underneath, okay? Okay. There you go, right there. The head might be turned kind of a funny way. Okay, it's okay. That's like teacher stuff. everybody as you can probably tell my energy is a little bit down you having some strong contractions now mm -hmm. having some real strong ones so as y'all probably seen they had broken water and now she is having some strong contractions.
pull. Okay, so it's these little stickies, okay? So this is kind of what's gonna stick on your belly like this. Okay. And then that little pod's gonna go in the center. And underneath each one, where I have to put the sticky, there's this little prep tape. So I'll do it on your hand first. I have to make a little X like that. It's kind of like little sandpaper, okay? okay? Just to remove any like dead skin and stuff that it doesn't let it stick very well. You can move if you need to a little bit. Just for this contraction. See how tight her belly's getting? Good job. Big breath in and blow it out. Is it okay to start putting it on? Mm -hmm. Picks up, so it picks up the baby's heart rate, your heart rate, and your contractions. Mm. We'll be done by the time your next one comes. Mm. And then there's one that goes down here by your pubic bone more, okay? about up to a minute to kind of acquire that signal but usually faster what's going on everybody so it is currently 305 um i got my epidural i don't even know when i think maybe like 15 minutes ago so the pain was crazy <laughs> I, I could not do it. <laughs> um, I tried to go as much as I could without the epidural, but I couldn't. So um, yeah, got the epidural and now we're just kind of waiting. Um, my nurse went for lunch. So um, whenever she's done with that, she's gonna come back, check me to see where I am and then yeah, the last time um, they checked was probably an hour ago. I was five, six centimeters. And so maybe I'm more advanced. She was positioned weird. So um, there was a lot of pelvic pain and it's really cold in here. <laughs> <laughs> Snuggled up, look at her. It is so King cool. size sheet. I don't know king if, size blanket i don't know if it's because of the epidural or what but i am like uh, sh shivering <laughs> so hopefully um she's here before dinner so i can eat something because i'm hungry mm -hmm. but yeah that is the update for now um nothing crazy uh i, I give props to all of you women who you know go through this naturally it's just amazing, but mm -mm. two seconds in the hell water being broke. <laughs> yeah, I ended up breaking my water. I don't know if I already said that. Yeah. But literally, like two, like two seconds after the, uh, my doctor broke my water, I felt all of the pain. Probably all the pain that's been. <sighs> <laughs> collecting mm -hmm. from not having any contractions um 
So they just kind of all came all at once and they were painful and just awful and mm -mm. Props to you women. So props to all of you women. I bow to you. I wish I could, I could not. So I was basically screaming for that damn epidural. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that is the update for now. Um, we'll update you guys probably when it's time to push cause. Might be soon. It might be soon. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> blocks the motor nerves but not I mean the sensory nerves but not really the motor nerves okay and that's why you can still kind of move but you wouldn't be able to like bear weight to like walk or anything right so I'll tell you everything so you how you can feel me touching your leg like this mm -hmm. that's what it'll feel like but it won't feel like painful like what you would expect a catheter to feel like all right y'all the wife is ready to push yeah they just came in time in <laughs> it's 3 56 right now um she came in to check and to put the catheter in after the epidural um she was prepping and she noticed the baby's head mm -hmm. so we are 10 centimeters and ready to push. And ready to push. This girl is so strong. Look at her. So, Look at her. She went to go get all the supplies, all the people. And then baby girl going to be here. She's going to be here too. So we'll see y'all when wifey, Savet is pushing. He going to get it all. I'm so excited. You excited? I'm excited too. Lord, y'all, this is And it is looks crazy. like she got hair. She got hair. Y'all, wait till she come out. Watch this. I seen it. I was down there. I look. looked. I seen it. It was hair. So, oh, boy. we'll catch y'all when she is pushing you. Okay, ready? Take a big breath in. And push the down like you're going to bathroom. Push, 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 Keep holding it. Hold as hard as you can. <laughs> so each contraction we're going to try to push three times like that okay you take a big breath in fill up your lungs pull back on your legs and push down okay and then kind of in between um in between pushes let your air all the way out and take another big breath in real quick okay so she kind of pushes forward when you push and then kind of slides back when you don't push so you want to get right back on it keep that momentum going okay Yeah. Wow. 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 Wow